Okay, it's time for the Toast and Noodle Father's Day special. I've asked my dad to help me do another episode, so here he is. Alright, so this is Father's Day, so we're going to talk about dad stuff. One thing that dads do in our family is give nicknames. Now Harrison's got lots of nicknames. Scooter, Rex, Noodle Man, The Mains, and my favorite is his Roman nickname. Harrisonicus, Tornaticus, Albernicus, Hatericus, Rex. But the nicknames don't stop with him. I like to call his friends by nicknames too. Like Mitch. Mitch is Miach or Miachi. Connor is Kano, because that's what Harrison used to call him when Harrison couldn't pronounce his R's. He would say Kano. Jake is Jake, which sounds very sophisticated, even French. And Cam, he's Cam and Cam or Cameroni. And Grayson. Grayson is known as the Son of Grey. So when they always come over, you know, I always try to announce them, like when they come in the house. So they'll come in, and I'll be like, Miyachi, Kano, Jake, Kamikam, Son of Grey. And another very dad thing I like to do is scare them. You know, like the time they were playing football in the front yard, like late at night. And so I put on a sheet and snuck around the side of the house with a mask, and I rose up from behind the bushes. Ooh. And they all screamed and ran. Ah, it was great. Well, except for Cam. Cam charged me and threw something at me. But my favorite thing to do, it is to embarrass them. Especially when girls are involved. Oh, yeah. That's great. And it's a very classic dad thing to do, right? Like the time I walked out on our front porch... And, and found Harrison and some of his friends out there. And Son of Grey was standing there behind a girl. Let's call her Skyper. And was rubbing her shoulders, you know, like giving her a back rub. And I was like, hey, Son of Grey, what's wrong with her shoulders? Are they sore or something? Why you gotta rub them? What's going on? And Grayson was kind of like, uh. Or, or that time that I found out way back in the sixth grade when Piper said that Harrison was magically delicious. <laughs> you know, like the cereal, you know, you know, magically delicious. That was awesome. Hey, you remember that, Harrison? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I cut out pieces of the cereal box and left them where he would find them, you know, where it said they're magically delicious. And then when his friends would spend the night in the morning, I'd be like, hey, guys, what do y'all want for breakfast? Oh, Harrison, don't worry. I know what you want. You want cereal, right? You know why? Because you're magically delicious. <laughs> All right, you know, when I say it out loud, this does sound a little mean. But it's not mean at all. It's rooted in nothing but love. And it's also a family tradition. Harrison and his buddies don't have it nearly as bad as I did. Well, I remember when I was in high school, man, whenever I'd show up with a girlfriend somewhere, my uncles, my grandparents, my cousins, they'd do everything they could to try to embarrass me. Like, I'd walk up with a girlfriend with me, and my Uncle John would be like, Hey... Who's this, Shane? She's awful cute. And my granddaddy, Daddy Price, he was the worst. He'd be like, hey, boy, bring her over here. So tell me your name, little girl, and all about your people. Where are they from? <laughs> oh, God, it was horrible. Sometimes it'd be even worse. They might even start singing songs. I remember showing up to a cousin's birthday party with one girlfriend who was a Mexican exchange student, and my Daddy Price started singing down in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Yeah, it was very embarrassing. But you know, the absolute worst thing was when I'd show up at high school basketball games with a girlfriend. As I'd come in the gym door, I'd have to walk down to the student section at the end of the bleachers. And so they'd be in the bleachers somewhere in the middle, which meant that I'd like have to walk right by in front of them with my date. And as I'd walk by in front of them, they'd yell out like over the whole basketball crowd, Hey, look at there. Wow, who's that, Shane? Is that your girlfriend? Why don't you bring her up here to meet us? Hey, wait, where are you going? Don't leave her. Come back, Shane. Yeah, it was so bad that one time when my date and I came in the gym, let's call her uh, Piper, I told her, hey, look, I know we're going down there where the students are, but let's just go under the bleachers to get to the other end. It'll be fun. It's like going to be a shortcut. Hey, you know, I figured if we went under the bleachers that my cousins and my granddaddy wouldn't see me, right? So Piper was like, I don't know. Uh, looks like kids are playing under there. But I was like, no, no, hey, come on. Come on, it'll be great. So under the bleachers we go, right? We're in tight quarters. We're dodging little kids who weren't supposed to be under there. Her hair's getting all messed up. We come out the other side, and Piper's like, I can't believe that you made me go under there. What could it be that you are, like, embarrassed 
to be seen with me? And I was like, what? No, 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 I no, that was not it at all. I just didn't want my family to see you. And she was like, I knew it. You're embarrassed of me. And I was like, no, no. And Piper was like, well, fine, I'm leaving then. And so she just marches. She takes off and she marches right in front of everybody, headed for the door of the gym. And I'm following behind her like, wait, wait, come back. I'm not embarrassed of you. And then as I ran after her across the gym floor, what do we all hear? Hey, look in there. Who you got there, boy? So, see, Harrison and his friends, they don't really have it near that bad. But you know what? That makes me think that maybe I'm being too easy on them. Hmm. So, you know, so what's the moral? Well, it means that you can't escape these dad things, everybody. Because we've been waiting our whole lives just to do this stuff to y'all. But here's the good news. One day, you can pass on these fine traditions down yourselves. But until then, you can run, but you can't hide.